So this is the My Father's World curriculum that we use for our four-year-old. We absolutely love how easy it is and user-friendly it is. These are the seven days of creation that we just finished. We put it up into a little book. And a little guy treasures it and keeps it in his room. <laughs> and we'll look at it pretty much all the time. It has, it's full of like all your teaching tips, your activities, your read aloud suggestions. We do a lot of read alouds and having a curriculum that actually includes that into their everyday activities is great for what we are hoping to accomplish. Today we started our week three, day one. Typically on Sunday night, I will go up to the material section and kind of look to see what is needed for that week and then gather everything, put them all together. That way I'm not running around every morning trying to find everything that's needed to complete the day's activities. On top of the weekly calendar, which we'll take a look at in a minute, you'll have your daily instructions as a teacher, and it'll kind of give you tips and tricks on how to use the materials that they give you. So what flashcards to use for the week based on what you're studying. Here's the weekly schedule that I really, really enjoy. It's fun to kind of check off each day as you go and every activity that you complete together with as a family. Um, but as well as your, uh, your reading assignments and your activities. They also give you a lot of good tips for like being outside, extra activities with there, and of course your read aloud section. And if you go to the back of the book, there's all the outdoor activities. You can kind of choose what you want to do for the day based on what season you're in. And in your lesson plan, it will kind of give you tips as well for whatever month they're in. It will give you kind of like what to look at. So after breakfast is done and we've gotten dressed and kind of ready for the day, they always do about half an hour of free play while I get the kitchen cleaned up and prepare for that day's lessons. My mom actually gave me these bricks. These used to be the bricks that me and my siblings played with when we were little. So it has been so much fun seeing my kids now play with them and they love them. This is actually a pretty small load for her. Normally she tries to get them to where they're towering over her head. So these are our magnet tiles. If you don't have any, we highly recommend them. They have so much fun putting them on the window and seeing the little shadows they cast on the floor and creating rainbows. So much fun. The pencil holder that my sister got for the kids, it's adorable. Oliver has little yellow rain boots and I just thought it was the greatest thing. I'll have it link linked down below. So everything's cleaned up, we're ready to start day one. Typically before I start our reading or for today's poem, I give them an activity to do with their hands, that way they're busy while they're listening. And then I just kind of go back and forth between reading the poem and helping them with their letters. After our read alouds are done, that's normally when we do our worksheets for the day, which is also included in the My Father's World curriculum. Today we are working on the letter S, and he was matching the, all the pictures that go that start with the letter S. He has a ton of fun with these and would probably do it all day long if we let him.
before we start any new activity, we always have the kids pick up what they were doing before, which in this case was just some free reading time. And as you can tell from the floor, Ellie's uh, uh, paper cutting spree. So with these rods, what he has to do is just line them up on the paper and it's great for problem solving because he has to figure out what rods fit in what shapes and make them align. Oh, yeah. We're making letter S with our rods. Because our letter today is letter S. Turn him. There we go. Good job. That's going to be a pretty letter S, isn't it, Oliver? That one's a little bit too big, you're right. And then I went after it done with this, I built something. Yeah. This is all a part of our um, my father's world curriculum. You have a father? <laughs> I'm good. Can I build something, Mom? Look at your S, Oliver. I know, now. At the, let's now look at it. Is there, do you have a piece or a color that's too long and doesn't fit there? Look at your letter S. Is there one going over the line? No, it's my S is fine. Take a look at your black one. It looks like that might be too long. Good job. Oh, Let's figure it out. Yeah, and then we slide your little yellow piece over so it touches. And it looks like you need one tiny little white square over here to fill it in. And there you go, you just made an S. Good job. Now can I build something? Yes, you can. Thank you. So fun. Okay, so while you guys are finishing building with your rods, Oliver, Mommy's gonna read our story about the sun. Jesus is the light of the world. This was another fun or real loud moment while the kids were busy playing with their rods and putting letters together. And it is such a joy to see how much they really do soak the information in and how much they really are listening even if they're just playing. After we finished the lessons for the day, we went outside for our nature walk, but before we could leave our back porch, the kids found a little friend. Ellie was really begging to hold it, but every time Oliver tried to put it in her hand, she would quickly back away. Very much confusing to the four-year-old little boy. Oliver came up with the idea that if he put the frog in the bucket, then Ellie wouldn't be afraid to hold it. <laughs> She loved carrying it around. She kept asking me to take it inside so she could put it in her bedroom. Do you think, do you think what we have is a toad or a frog? What do you think? It's a toad. It is a toad. I, but it's a, you love it? Remember, remember when I 
watch the art vlog? Yeah. Now Mountain made me stop. So oh, careful. You don't want to hurt him. There you go. Which one on nature walk? You want to take our toad on our nature walk this morning? Yeah. Right. Well, let's go. We'll make sure he doesn't get out. Yep. Let's go to that shape. It's okay. We're taking Mr. Toad on a nature walk this morning. This shade is so cool. Do you like this shade? Yeah. All right. It's so cool. <laughs> okay, I'm going to activate frog power. Thank you guys so much for watching and before you go don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you can see us in our next video. Bye!